This is part two of our video on the 6SN7 tube. Some, more the com some of the more common types, for example, the General Electric. Uh, this tube uh, started out with the 6SN7 GTA. It has a silver side getter. It's marked GTA. and has two gray plates inside with a, uh, a ring or a horseshoe-shaped uh, getter element inside. Later versions are the GTB, looking almost identical to the GTA. Some other early tubes that are commonly found, uh, the RCA 6SN7 GTA, often like the GE in a short bottle, has two shiny side getters. And then the very early RCA 6SN7 GTB can be recognized by the silver print on the base and a single side getter. And the RCA's always had black plates. Another early 6SN7. This is an RCA 6SN7 GT. Again, black plates, bottom getter, and the filament was spirally wound. So it's easy to spot, which is the white uh, spirally wound filament at the base. That is the 1950s 6SN7 GT. Looking very much like it, is the 1956 SN7 GTB. This is an early RCA with silver printing on the base. Later versions had orange printing on the base, but the insides looked virtually identical. Then finally in the 1960s a version came along with a thin base with the orange printing. This is the early type. This had a top with a filaments that were both connected by a very thin wire on the top. That's the way to spot the later versions of the 6SN7 GTB RCA. Variations on this tube were a version with the new orange label on the base and a version with the label actually printed on the glass. Again, the insides are identical, and these also have the wire across the top. Another early tube, which is very good, is the Raytheon, frequently marked 6SN7GTB. They have black plates and a rather tall bottle. Uh, this one is obviously marked Raytheon Uniline, and the other one is actually made for an organ. This one is made for Baldwin. These are excellent tubes, especially the organ tubes, if you can find them, because they've already been screened for audio use. Uh, a couple of interesting uh, tubes which sometimes come to light are the tungsol made so-called mouse ear type. These have two large circular mica spacers near the top of the tube and give it a rather Mickey Mouse appearance. It may have other brands on the base, but this is an early tungsol tube. Later tungsol tubes look much like Sylvania with the uh, angled uh, Y-shaped or T-shaped plates. And of course with the tungsol name and date code on the base. Finally, Sylvania had a complete line of tubes starting with the early 6SN7 GT version. This is sometimes called the bad boy tube. Uh, the original bad boys uh, have three rivet holes. This one is only showing two, but it's identical to all the, all the other tubes made at this time, including the 6SN7 uh, GT VT231 military type. Later versions from Sylvania were the 6SN7 GTA and the very early uh, 6SN7 GTB. Uh, these are the GTAs. The earliest had the two plates that were facing each other, as in this tube. The later versions had the plates set at an angle to each 